All right, let's continue by learning a few more functions, count and then sum. So uh, in this example, we are going to uh, count how many employees work in New York City and Denver locations, display, lo display location city and total employees. So here we want location city and we want the total employees. So we're gonna use the count function but what do we count? So count is the only function that will work on both numbers and text-based fields. Because basically, if there's data in the field, it'll count it. So if we want to count up records, which field should we do it on? Well, if there's a null or an empty in it, then it won't count it. So is there a certain field in every database table that we should use every time we want a count? Well, the answer to that is the primary key. Whatever field is the primary key is the one we should count because that will never be blank, right? Now, technically, I could count anything in the employee table, last name, first name, any of these, as long as there are no nulls or empties in it, and my count will be correct. So it's just a, it's not a requirement, but just like a guideline or a rule of thumb, use the primary key whenever you're doing a count to make sure you don't get any empties. So uh, we still need both location and employee, so I'll leave my join in there. This time we're going to group just by location ID and does it give us any ordering or other criteria? Let's see here. Nope, that's it. So let's delete that out of there, run it. Oh, I, I did forget something. Uh, we only want those in, let me undo that, New York City and Denver. So this also gives us a chance to show you where the where clause goes, where location city. So where clauses go before the group buys. Um, and let's see, let's say equals New uh, York City. Now, if you want to use an or statement, uh, you can't say or Denver like that. You have to have the complete uh, criteria in there, meaning location city equals Denver. So location city equals New York or location city equals Denver. I like to put this on the set on the next line down. There we go. Run query. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, did I leave this down? Oh yeah, I, ran, I left for, I left a statement in there. Okay, run query. Location, oh, Mark, seriously, there we go. Location city equals Denver. All right, there we go. Just those two results, and there's a count. Um, also, we can give this a name. Count, uh, and we can say as number of employees. So as lets us then put a name there for this uh, resulting function. In fact, I probably should have done that in the last video too, but that's it for count.